Good morning students, welcome back. Today in this video we are going to learn about the notice writing. Okay, how do we write a notice, what is the format of notice and what are the important tips that should be taken care while writing a notice. First understand why a notice is written. A notice is a formal way of informing people, people in large number. Okay, whenever you have to inform a message, whenever you have to put a message for a large group of people, this is a proper way of notifying them, informing them and it is a formal way to notify people. So what are the important tips that should be taken care of? Important points you should never forget while writing a notice. Okay, we will be discussing the format after we finish discussing the important points. Okay. The first and foremost important thing that you have to remember is that the notice should not exceed more than 50 to 60 words. It shouldn't exceed more than that. Okay? Because notice should be short so that people, people actually are busy. People don't have much time to go on reading a story. That is why the notice which you write has to be short and to the point. Then the second thing is name and place of the school. Since you are a student, so you will be getting the question where you have to mention the notice, where you have to put up a notice for any event, program, a sports event, competitions. So all these type of notices will be there in your exams. So I am not giving the names of institution, organization, okay. That is why I have put up name and place of the school has to be mentioned in the notice. Third thing is, write notice at the top. Whenever writing a notice, in the box at the top you have to mention notice and the notice which you write has to be in block letters. No small letters, only in block and each and every letter will be in capital letter. Fourth thing is, give heading. What is a heading? Suppose a program is there, sports event is there, sports competition is there, dancing competition is there. So you can't simply give dance competition, okay? The heading should be attractive, should be catchy, okay? So that it attracts people. What this is the name, the heading that you give should attract people and it should be very interesting to read it, okay? Suppose you are having a dance competition. Okay, so the heading that you can give can be twist and turns. While dancing, you twist and turn. So this can become a heading while writing a heading. Okay, this can be a perfect heading to attract people and it is catchy also. And for that, you will get good marks also. Next comes date of issuing the notice. The day the notice has to be put on, that day is supposed to be mentioned in the notice. Okay, the day when the notice is to be put on the notice board, that date should be clearly mentioned in the notice. The next point is, mention the target group. Now what is the target group? You have to mention for whom the notice is written. Okay, suppose you are the person writing the notice. Okay, but you also have to mention in the notice that for whom is it written. Okay, whom you want to notify, whom you want to send the message, for who are people you are writing the notice. That has to be clearly mentioned in the notice. Next, purpose of the notice. Why are you writing the notice? The reason, the reason has to be written in the notice. Okay, dance competition, you have to mention dance competition. Why are you writing on the dance competition? Because you want participants. Okay, so that all thing, those all things has to be mentioned while writing a notice. Next is mention relevant details. Relevant details refers to date, time and venue. Date on which day is the program scheduled. Okay, on which day the program is going to happen. That date should be mentioned clearly. Time, from what time till what time the program is to take place, okay? Venue, venue refers to place, 
the place where the program is going to happen okay the program will happen in the school campus in the icc hall in the school hall examination hall stage that thing should be mentioned clearly and after you finish writing all these at last you put signature with your name and your designation designation refers to whatever you are whatever post you have in the school suppose you can be the school captain the magazine editor all those are post school captain class monitor school captain yellow house captain red house captain swimming captain football captain you can be you can hold any designation so after writing the notice at last you put your signature name and the designation just below your name okay now i am going to write a question and the question will be based upon your school only and for that i will also write how to write a notice i will show you how to write a notice and how is the way what is the way to write a notice in a box okay now the question that is written over here says prepare a notice as a student's editor prepare a notice as a student's editor of the school magazine inviting students to write articles for the school magazine glimpses glimpses is the name of the school magazine the name which we give to our magazine okay now while reading the question you can make out what all things are to be mentioned in the magazine the first thing is prepare a notice you know you have to write a notice as the student's editor meaning you have to write the notice being a student's editor the designation so the first thing that you get over here is the designation who you are and who is the person writing the notice so this is the first thing that is given to you of the school magazine you are the editor of the school magazine okay why are you writing okay you are the editor of the school magazine and now comes the purpose what are you going to write why are you writing the notice inviting students to write articles inviting students to write articles write articles for what for the school magazine so this is the third thing that you get for the school magazine this is the main purpose why you are writing the notice and the name of the school magazine given to you is glimpses okay so all these points you get from the question itself so i request all of you to read the question properly because most of the details you can simply make out from the simply carry out from the question itself okay now let's see what is the format how are we going to write the notice okay so now the answer to the question that i wrote will be like this first of all you have to make a box and within the box you have to mention the name of the school the bosso academy mandraski kanj okay and then you have to write notice in block letters mention the date when you are issuing the notice and then come the description okay the description written over here is all aspiring writers and poets are hereby invited to write original interesting articles for the school magazine glimpses and hand them to the undersigned okay undersigned means you who is writing the mens uh, who is writing the notice that person's name signature and his designation has to be mentioned remember in the question it was given that you have to mention the name the person who is writing the notice with the signature and his designation what was his designation his designation was students editor magazines editor okay the most important thing which is not written over here is the heading okay so after recalling after thinking a lot you can simply write the heading as talent hunt which will go just after the date okay talent hunt since i don't have much space over here you can't you can see that it's written all together but it's not written all together you have to follow a proper format after writing the bosso academy on the next line you write notice 
then on the other line write the date, then give the heading, then come to your description. Description you can make it long also where you can give instruction how to write, where to write in a single sheet of paper, in black ink, please write on one side of the paper. All these instructions can be also written. But once you finish writing down these instructions, you have to put a signature, name and your designation. Okay? Now you see that the notice is to be written in the middle of the box. Okay, people also write it from the left hand side, but I would ask you, I would request you to write it in the middle because it looks neat and this is how to write a proper notice. Okay, so that's all for today. If you have any problem or confusion, you can ask me. Okay, thank you.